Hello guys, this is Ansab and you are watching the Ready Ansab YouTube channel and in this video I am going to talk about website and IP address related to it. So there is some confusion to us or the thing that is not clear to us about website and IP address. But before going uh, forward to this video, I want to ask a simple question to you that uh, what do you think that uh, can a single IP address can be assigned to different websites I mean if there is website 1 and website 2 so is it possible that a single IP address can be assigned to these two websites so your time starts now 3 2 1 and answer you can also click yes or no on this poll okay you you will get a poll here okay so if you say yes if you say yes that a single uh, IP address can be assigned to different website then yes you are correct but how it is possible so this is the thing we are going to discuss in this video so let's start so first let me give you some example so let me show you my website so this is my website which is going to lol and uh, this is another website okay so this is another website so you can see the domain and the domain are different I think the server is slow so let it load I will show you later so but what if I tell you that these two websites which are completely different they point to a single IP address so you can see this is my website okay so I can show you that these two website are point to a single IP address so quickly open our terminal and use the ping command to determine the IP address okay so you can see the IP address and and you can oh so let me right pin here okay you can see in this first line you can see ping dev .com with the ip address is this and ping joining.helios.org with the ip address is this so you can see that they both are different domain but they have the same ip address how is it possible but it is possible by the concept of shared hosting so let me give you an another example so I have an IP address of a shared host shared hosting server but I want to look how many IP address sorry how many websites are on the same server or same IP address so let me IP reverse IP lookup so you can see this 185.27.134.221 is the IP address of a server of a shared hosting server so if I click on lookup so you can see you can see only three domains are available according to this website let me open another okay this is a good website the database of this website is bigger you can get the more amount of websites sorry okay now what you can see is that 
the single IP address is assigned to 404 okay 404 domains so 404 domains are assigned this single IP address so we can see now that it is possible that multiple websites and you can see the website are not same these are completely different website and they also serve different purpose they are for different purpose okay and you can see the single IP address is assigned to 404 domains okay so the single IP address can be assigned to multiple domains using the concept of virtual host in your web server so let me tell you how is is it possible and how the server identified which website to open when the request is made on a single IP address so you can see you can see in this tutorials point there when we make a request to a web server so there's a process when I type my address my website address in the browser address bar and when I press enter then there are some process that happens in the background so what process are they uh, first uh, the IP address of this website will be identified okay after identifying the IP address then this browser will make a get request get request on this domain so after making a get request on this domain then something will happen but what is this so when different websites make different uh, get request to the same IP address then there is some technique that that server uses to identify the website which we are calling so uh, there is a get request and there is a format of get request so you can see get file name on the website which file we want to access and this is a user agent like uh, browser which you are using and this is the important thing which is called as host so if I have IP address 123 and my domain is example when I type example.com then it will point 123 with a host example.com but if I have the another domain called example2.com with the same IP address then it will make a get request to the same IP address but with a different host then the host will be example2.com so like this the server can identify which website is which website the user want to open so like this we can make a shared hosting server and like this we can assign a single IP address to multiple websites it is not necessary for a website to have a unique IP address okay so each website have a unique IP address is not true for every website okay is not true for every website why I said not for every website because there are some websites which can have a unique IP address like when we use a dedicated server and we want to host only a single website on that server so the website will have a unique IP address which is not assigned to any other website so guys if you learned something new from this video like this video subscribe to my youtube channel share this video to your friends uh, who can learn who are interested in this kind of things okay bye meet you in next video like share comment and subscribe